Hi everyone, my name is Sean McManus and I'm here to talk about the Astro Data Archive. The Astro Data Archive is a resource provided by NSF's Noir Lab Community Science and Data Center. I'm going to provide a brief introduction and then we'll take the system for a test drive. The Astro Archive provides access to petabytes of data from many different telescope instrument combinations going back decades. Here's an exposure map of our current holdings. Now let's talk about the interface itself. I'm going to go ahead and point my web browser to astroarchive.noao.edu. From the main page, let's start with a web search and then we'll dig into some of the other features. This archive portal is built on Elasticsearch, which delivers extremely fast search and filtering capabilities. Optionally, you can search for a specified target or particulars related to an observation you're interested in. Let's do a quick open-ended search just to see what happens. The system supports proprietary access for approved observing programs, but after a nominal embargo period of 18 months, most data is publicly accessible. As you can see, my search has returned 12 million files, but I can go through the categories here and reduce my selection. I can pick processing level, exposure time, filters, principal investigator, and the approximate time frame. As you can see, it's reduced my selection down to under 5,000 records. If I wanted to, I could pick off some samples and download them to my desktop. Or I can download batches uh, by selecting them and then hit stage. Staging will move the files to a FTP site. Where they can be accessed by the FTP client of your choice. Going back to the search interface. You can look at our results again and configure the fields that we want to see. But if you're familiar with typical FITS files, you know that some of them may have dozens or perhaps hundreds of fields associated with the pixels. And those fields are in the FITS header. And this particular system takes all of that in and makes it available via our API. So let's uh, have a look at the API. If you want to see a quick example, I recommend going to our GitHub site 
and have a look at some of the example Python notebooks. Also, we are a contributor to the Astro Query project. Advanced users may want to have a look at our API documentation and find out all of the web services that we have available. This documentation is live documentation that you can try out with live working examples. That's about all I have for today. So feel free to try the system out and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you and have a great day.